You probably watched Schoolhouse Rock's I'm Just a Bill as a kid. But is that how it really works? How does an idea become policy, a bill become law? And who passes laws? In the United States, we have a federal legislature called Congress, made up of two chambers, the Senate and the House of Representatives that governs the whole country. And we have 50 state governments that each focus on the laws in their state. We the people are represented in Washington and in our state by senators and representatives. They are the people who vote on laws, but we'll get there in a minute. Let's start at the beginning. Every law starts with a problem or idea. One problem we're concerned about are people who don't think women should see a doctor to get medical care before taking chemical abortion pills. They don't think she should be provided basic information about her baby, the dangers of abortion pills, or the resources available to help her parent. The next step involves you. For example, in your state, you and other like-minded people start seeing websites advertising how to buy abortion pills on the internet. You get together and start calling your local elected officials. The lawmakers say, you're right, this is a serious problem. The lawmakers pick a bill sponsor, who talks with experts like doctors and AUL attorneys to ensure the bill is crafted in the most constitutional, most robust way possible. The bill sponsor then writes a bill that says, Abortion pills, which are life-ending for a child and dangerous for a mother, can only be prescribed from a doctor who practices in our state to a patient who they have treated in person and who they can help if something goes wrong. Prescribing abortion pills online and sending those deadly pills through the mail is against the law. While we believe that abortion in all its forms should be abolished in America, a bill like this is an important step in awakening America's conscience on the realities of abortion. The sponsor tells their fellow lawmakers about the bill, and some of them agree to co-sponsor it. They file it with the clerk, and your concern has become an active bill. The bill gets assigned to a committee, and the committee holds a hearing. Members of the public come to the state capitol to testify for and against the bill. The committee asks questions and listens to what people have to say. And we can also call our representatives any time to let them know what we think about the bill. After the hearing, the committee members vote on the bill. If it passes, the bill goes to the floor, which means all of the members in the chamber vote on it. If the bill passes the House, it crosses over to the Senate or vice versa, and we do the whole thing again. Another hearing, more witnesses, another vote. After the bill passes both the House and Senate, it goes to the governor's desk. If the governor supports the bill, they sign it, turning it into a law. If the governor doesn't sign it, the legislature can still override the veto by a two-thirds majority, and the bill can become a law that way too. At Americans United for Life, we help people like you pass laws that uphold the human right to life and expand care for moms, babies, and families. We've been doing it for 50 years, and we invite you to stand alongside us in this work as we strive for the day when all are welcomed throughout life and protected in law.